Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, because I am only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Scorpio, we're going to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for the week ahead, endish of March 2024-ish, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with me for a little bit, because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. We're going to talk about some love today. I appreciate you for being here. If you can return the love for me, love the like down here, share the channel and the video, help get us out, help the community grow. It's just a thing we do. It's a genre, and I appreciate you very much for being a part of it. Also, subscribe and set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. for a pick a card reading. Just pick something. And also, a live all signs Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. So join me and the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening down in the chat, and we'll just have a good time together. And also, if you haven't noticed, the top news story at Archer Astrology is the full eclipse, total eclipse meet and greet in Cleveland. It's going on. It is a meet and greet that will eclipse all other meet and greets. Um, it's going on April 6th, 7th, and the 8th. April 6th is the musical evening where just bring your instruments and your vocals. We got some time booked at Breakthrough Sounds Recording Studios in Valley View, Ohio. It's going to be hot. And then we've got April 7th from 1 to 7 p.m. The main event at 3 and 3 Shine in Warrensville Heights, Ohio, where we will be doing the astrology, some tarot, some bigger cards. Basically, it's Archer Astrology Live, live with Archer and everybody else. <laughs> but it's going to be streamed to the channel, too. But we're going to have some giveaways and tarot, astrology, pick cards, all the usual stuff, but live and in person. So come and hang out with me and everyone else. And we'll have a good time. And in case you're wondering why I have, why are there two of these decks? One of the giveaways will be the original Urban Tarot Grand Theft Auto deck. The first one, these, I love this deck. It's awesome. The original will be saged, cleansed, and um, given away. It's one of the prizes that will be given away during the eclipse. So um, be there, be in person to enter, and we're going to have a good time. It's going to be awesome. While you're here, Page of Swords all over my channel as much as you like. I got the Healing Music base covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini, but you be quiet for a second. We're, we're busy. We're talking love right now. His A string, sometimes it, like the beginning of I Feel Fine, but it's cool. We love him anyways. He's awesome. And then we got some pick card readings where my decks pick you. Mentioned those earlier. It's the chariot. Chicks take the chariot. It's high tech too. <laughs> and all of your weeklies, monthly slides, and otherwise neatly prioritized and organized for your viewing enjoyment. So boss up and have a good time here on the channel. All right. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram too, if you don't mind. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, email me at archerastrology at gmail.com. Or check out my featured channels for more tried, trusted, and true content. If it's there, it's the real deal. Um, also, check out everybody. The awesome Sagittarius Chloe at Sagittarius Soltero. Post her availability. So if you need a reading like right now and Archer schedule's a little cray for you, check her out. She's cool. All right. Let's see what's up. What's going on for you? And the one on your mind, we're going to do nine cards on the table. Tenth card outcome at the bottom of the deck using the Grand Theft Auto deck, the Urban Tarot, which the energy has ooh, moved over. Oh, I just felt it too. Whoa, that was cool. That was like jumper cables to the tongue. Fun. And then my brand new music tarot. In honor of going to Cleveland, the home of rock and roll, how could I not have a music deck? This took me a minute to search. I had to order this thing from a very far away distant land. The internets, them interwebs have everything. But nobody had this thing on hand in stock anywhere. So I have it. I have it. <laughs> and we're going to use it to throw a boatload of clarifiers at this. And of course, the messages are for you and the one on your mind's greatest and only good and highest good. Por favor. When you're with me, I'm the crystals. I got your back. I got you covered. All right. Crystals can't do what Archer does. Let's go for it. All right. So for you and the one on your mind, let's take a look at the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, all the goodness that is Scorpio and the one on your mind. All right. Here we go. A lot of astrology happening right now, too, with that full moon lunar eclipse in Libra that just happened, especially if you're a Libra Scorpio cusper, then you're feeling it on a slightly more emotional status. But as I meditated on your energies, I pulled boss status where you weren't sitting there going, oh, oh it's a full moon. You know how our moms used to always tell us, watch out, it's full moon. I see I see Scorpios that are like full moon, schmull moon. We got this. So I dig it. I'm with you. Let's go. All right, Scorpio, let's talk astrology and a little love. All right, Scorpio, two shuffles, Scorpio. Here we go. One and two. Let's love this deck for the sexy Scorpios. 
Put the kiddos to bed. It's tarot after dark. Here we go. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Mm, goodness. This is why I love tarot. Because the Queen of Pentacles is the money. The Pentacles. The Queen of England sitting at the head of the table. Like that one time that I reached out and channeled Queen Elizabeth. And she's like, what would you like to know? And I said, I just need to know if there's sporks. I have a very, very, very close friend that needs to know about sporks in England. She's like, that's it? You want to know about Charles or anything? I'm like, no, no, he'll figure himself out. We're good. It's good. He's got a country, a planet, everything going on. Okay. A few days later, sporks. All right. So you know what's coming. With the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups to the Death card. Dude, that's a whole energetical rebirth. That's like a data dump and clearing out the central processing unit for a fresh start. Look at you go with the Ace of Cups. Cancer energy. So there's a little love in there. But if you're going to shoot the moon, Page of Swords, we're going to talk about it. Let's roll. Honorable mentions to the Van Allen Radiation Belts. All right. What is the present energy? What's cooking? The Page of Cups. Your energy. When I pull a page, first I look at the element. In this case, water. Then I think of what's the first one I see. In this case, it's you. It's Scorpio. It's that ability to create and to manifest as you go through seven levels of ascension in this lifetime. Something the other 11 signs cannot do. All right, so it's that ability to be the star, the producer, the talent, the promoter, all of it in one thing. I mean, you are just the whole package bossed up and wrapped up in a bow, okay? Looking good doing it too. So maybe with this full moon eclipse energy at this point, you are like, it's bringing all your energies to the head of the table and like it's taken, like it's called a worm moon, right? Nice one, isn't it? But I see that as like a mess of wiring, and turning like a whole bunch of like the old SD cables into HDMI. One nice, one nice run of wiring here. So you're you're streamlining a process. You're cleaning things out and and finding a way to to rise above it. All right. Now, what is the immediate energy around you? It's the devil, Capricorn energy, and this is some motivation that lets you work through this stuff here. So it's like you're maintaining you're maintaining your composure. While everybody else keeps fanning, fanning, look, this is a tough one to say, fanning the flames. There we go. Got it. it see how some things can get really overwhelming? It's kind of like, it's kind of like if you're like trying to make homemade fireworks instead of just buying them. But okay, some people think that's needed. And um, some people, you, you got that one person that's like, I wouldn't do that. They sell those things, you know. I got this. And then before one minute, right there. So you're at a tipping point of a go forward point where you're just feeling this all want to take over and and like I tried to warn a marcher. I know it's cool. It's all right. We knew we knew what was coming. We saw it. <laughs> but anyways, and you giggle about it, Scorpio. That's cool. All right. There's a way to make light of any situation. What's the goal or destiny? What you plan? What you doing with your page of cups? Page of wands, bringing some fire into it. Fire energy. I hold on. We're going to keep this safe for you too. There we go. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. But I see Leo on this card. Oftentimes I see Sagittarius, sometimes Aries. This time it's Leo. Of course it's Leo. I'm a Cancer. I know to watch the Leo. But so this is somebody that actually, that you're feeling this ability to, to focus. And it's kind of like everybody gets warned to not stare at the sun, but it's like the sun can't help if it burns everybody. It's just doing its thing. So this is you in your element, thriving and, and, and just being you. Not worried about judgment, not worried about anything else, and just keeping things on an even and smooth path. And well, everybody else, it's like following your divine path and just knowing what you want. Okay. It's like the rule of three showing up. And if you, if you, if you three tries and you're out, you can't do that, then don't play the game. Right. You know what's up. You know what's going on. It's awesome. It's boss energy. All right. Let's see. You are a powerful manifester. Let's see what is going on on their side. Their present energy is the Knight of Swords, Aquarius energy. I went straight to the source. Aquarius energy is that energy. Uh, I, dude, I love Aquariuses. I didn't mean the dude at dude or dude at no gender in tarot, but I totally love Aqu uh, Aquarian energy. They have this ability. See, like he's even got sunglasses on to play chess. Like I love chess. Stravinsky all over this one. Chess is the most interesting game in that the way the loser is determined, the loser knows they've lost. And it's it's are you gonna lay down your king? Or do we have to keep just checkmating around the board, right? So the one you're dealing with here, they might have someone, like someone guiding them, but they're not listening because the energies around them are moving so fast. And if you think about it right now, you are like the only sign that doesn't have a bunch of stuff going on. There's no planets in your sign. There are no satellites in your sign. It is just cool, calm, and collected for you right now, Scorpio. So it's the ability to adjust 
while your rock isn't going into Aquarius and coming a little bit back towards Capricorn, Pluto, you know, and, and just being like, I'm just going to work with the flow here and liquidate out what is no longer needed. And meanwhile, they're scrambling. They're rolling forward onto this one here. But and there's somebody helping guide them, but they might not be totally listening. Okay, straight up. We're just saying. All right, what is their immediate influence? Where are we going? <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. And that, that measuring twice, cutting once, working with God, working with spirit, and, and, and making sure things are, are manufactured and built right. Look at how this is depicting building a skyscraper, building a building. And like, if you don't make sure the cornerstones down here are right, square plumb and level, then by the time you're up here to the 13th floor, then all of a sudden the whole thing's like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. You know what I mean? So it's, it's and you notice how like a lot of buildings don't have 13th floors? It's interesting, isn't it? I, I, I would be the first one to pet the black cat, walk under the ladder if the coffee shop was on the other side. You don't phase me. I'm protected. All right. Now let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and see what potential future influence is on the connection. The Ten of Pentacles. Man, we are talking Earth 3D Pentacle money energy. Get that bag, Scorpio. Virgo energy, too. And that is, Virgo is that one that's able to deduce, observe, analyze, predict, and plan. It's learning from the past and going forward to the future. And did I not mention that the Queen of Pentacles sits at the head of the Ten of Pentacles table? You got it all going on, Scorpio. This is cool. All right. The connection keeps strengthening here as you guys downsize and clear out the energies. This is neat. All right. All right. So let's see what the energy incoming is for you two. The Nine of Pentacles coming and down. And I did clean, reset, and use this deck already. So it's not like Archer, the deck's just the way they come. Mm -mm. Once I get a deck, I go right in for the thing. The Nine of Pentacles shows you guys looking good. Having that time to reflect, a little stay vacation, go where you want, have some time to yourselves, and just look good and keep getting better. Good healing, eating right, feeling right, loving right, living right. Mm -hmm. It's awesomeness. Virgo energy, strong Virgo. The Tower card is the environmental factors around you guys. Literally, th th this is why I love tarot. I say it here and it comes out here like a Polaroid picture. Shake it, don't break it. Well, you've got no planetary activity in your sign. You're just getting to adjust to going into Aquarius piece of cake. Everybody else is dealing with that tower and rising like a phoenix out of the ashes from it and observing. It's like a bulletproof tower inside there that as you guys come out of the water, it's like adjusting to pressure. You know, as somebody dives in a submarine to the bottom and the pressure outside of the sub changes, you know, like that can set in or the change in the pressures that comes up like divers getting the bends. You know, the same thing happens with the barometric pressure up in the air as the barometric pressure raises or lowers. Same thing. Think of the air as the water, air and water. It's a flip flop. OK, what's the inner emotions where you guys will wind up feeling page of wands or Leo energy? Also Sagittarius off of this. Maybe you're a Scorpotarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper. But this here shows you guys come together and are able to manifest. It's like it's like a power couple vibe. Your communication goes the distance and your words mean things, especially to a Scorpio. Words are spells. And when you manifest, it manifests you. Literally just thinking and believing. Read Kaminsky, uh, Kim Belez on Mountain Dew or Coca-Cola. Why do we got a Coca-Cola? No Coke, Pepsi. No, I'm hearing Coca-Cola. Well, that will definitely be something we dive into. But don't worry. I was trained to get extra OG Snoop Dogg nosy on this one. I got you. Okay, let's find out. So you got you got strong Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, and whew, Taurus is the stealth one. There's no Taurus energy yet. Shh, where's Taurus? We're gonna find out. You've also got Sagittarius and Leo. No Aries either at the moment. Um, you're hanging out. Honorable mentions to Cancer and Pisces, and of course Aquarius. So let's take a peek at what's going on here, because you are doing some heavy manifesting. All right, Spirit, give me everything you've got on the Page of Cups to the Devil card to the Page of Wands. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo. It's always a Leo. <laughs> and the Capricorn. All right. You, you or them got some strong Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, you should have Scorpio. You're here. Or you're just watching everything. That's cool. I dig it. Love you for being here. Love that like for me, too, if you don't mind. Appreciate you totally. All right. Thank you, too. Always say thank you. All right. What do we got? Six of Cups. That's you. I told you I pulled Scorpio energy. Like if you in the beginning were sitting there going, Archer, Archer, that's Page of Cups is not Scorpio. It's this one. It's this one. Six of Cups for confirmation. Archer's right. Six of Cups. There's a deep soulmate connection that you are used to or connecting to and following that rule of three. It's like it's like being able to maintain a connection even when the connection goes out. How many times has your Wi-Fi gone out, right? This music tarot deck is so cool. I love this thing. Look at this. The Knight of Wands to the Seven of Swords. 
Aquarius Sagittarius energy on this. Chuck Berry, Johnny B. Good shows up, and and just jamming out to that too. I'm seeing the scene from a, from Back to the Future that shows up with that. On the Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords, strong Aquarius energy. And I love the Seven of Swords for this. This is that ability. Aquarius is like an all signs reading where they can come in, take those five swords. You might be a healer of sorts or a, a problem solver. Take those five swords out of the equation and leave the two swords so both sides can communicate evenly and, and, and using, using that three-pound organ up in the head there. Science, connecting to the divine too. It's amazing. I could be talking to a Scorpio as a scientist. I like scientists. Oh my gosh, I will talk to a scientist forever. Science was one of my favorite subjects. I sucked at English so bad. <laughs> but with the Eight of Swords to the Wheel of Fortune on the Six of Wands, there's a victory. That's a Caitlin Petty victory. Walking down, the getting a, a country music award and showing up like six minutes early for the event. Black tie, fancy dress, and not even no, no budget involved on this one. All right. And David Bowie's on the Wheel of Fortune in this deck, which does show anything can happen as you go through that labyrinth that is the Wheel of Fortune. And as the wheels turn into your guys' favor, that allows you to overcome those abilities. I see where most readers take the Eight of Swords and they're like, oh, oh you're stuck, you're done, it's over. It's the Eight of Swords. That's, you've got this ability to transmit, two-way receive, like manifesting from lack and, and like finding the best outcome, the best answers for the situations here. It's kind of like, it's like how many times has your Wi-Fi gone out? You know, and, and, and not having enough of that connection to, to, the, to the history, to the past, to the knowledge, and relying solely on like newer technology without a backup plan, right? But that Eight of Swords shows you've got the ability to overcome it, where you've got a backup plan to the backup plan with the lovers. Hold on, I didn't use the Sharpie marker yet. Let me check. John and Yoko, man. There's a reason that this album came in a brown paper bag. We're going to be safe, okay? We're just going to be safe till I get the Sharpie out real quick. That's John and Yoko, the lovers. No matter how many times George got upset about Yoko and the biscuits, no matter how many times Paul got frustrated with Yoko on the amp, even what Paul's mentioned in interviews was that in the end they knew Yoko and John loved each other and you worked with that. And so that's what I'm seeing out of that one. You've got this ability to manifest while well, everybody else is in the pinnacle mode. You've got this ability to manifest from a place of love. It's beautiful energy. King of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Queen of Swords on the Knight of Swords. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. I need a sword, strong air energy. You are in a powerful position with your words. The king of swords does understand the weight of their words and what it means, what it's used in here. Marvin Gaye showing up, totally. And that's Motown, man. Being a Detroit baby, I know Motown. Marvin Gaye had some good jams there, got it going on, literally. But even his words, his lyrics, everything he did manifested in a powerful position. What's going on? That's the song. That's the one I was thinking of. What's going on? It's the Knight of Swords back with the Queen of Swords too. Read the Franklins in here, wanting that R E S P C T. Find out what it means to you with the Knight of Swords. There's the Knight of Swords. You guys are connected on an energetical level, or you are calling them in, or you are keeping things in, in a position that keeps rolling forward. It's like straight up. If you're into the sound healing and the manifestation powers, which is a Scorpio, you probably are. I wish I dig. My Scorpio placements totally love it. You're, you're going right to the top. You're, you're Nikola Tesla. You're 963 hertz. You're in the 369 method on this one where you, you're connecting right to God, right to the divine, right to the top. You got the, you got the bat phone hooked up to the cloud nine. You know what I mean? Right? With that nine of swords too, that's Caitlin Petty getting that reward for have everybody playing, staring on the ceiling on repeat while staring at the ceiling, looking for the mirrors, the champagne, the sporks, all of it. But it's something that allowed you to manifest it. It's like, it's like knowing that the cost of living or the cost of commissions are going to change. And as, as, as things adjust, USA 1929, that as things adjust, smaller stuff will start to fade away. You know, usually, you know, if done in a certain way, like the smaller things will, will slowly fade out because people will have to do more about the important things or the big things. The Seven of Cups. Told you, you know, Scorpio energy. And this time I do pull it options instead of all the chakras lining up. Because you're Scorpio, so all your chakras are done lined up. You're good to go. But this shows here that when, when it comes down to it, and you've got a smaller business or a bigger business or the little gas station versus the chain station, it, people are going to keep their heat on, their lights on. Even if it's just a little flicker of a candle, they're going to they're gonna stick with that power, Nikola Tesla, before they do the little things. So it's the ability to, to band together as a Scorpio in a place of emotions. You, you're amazing for doing that. And to keep a family together forever and do what's best for all situations while everybody else is kind of, you know, following the flow down the river away sort of thing, type of a thing. You know what I mean? So I am the water. 
But with the Five of Swords, there's those Five of Swords that you guys help and work to overcome. Very powerful energy. Strong air. Gemini, Libra, heavy duty, Aquarius. That's why I love Aquarius, man. I would hang out with Aquarius any day and just listen. Love Aquarians. They're amazing. All right. The Seven of Cups shows weighing those options out to get to that point. And it's, it's like it's connecting you right to the top and putting you at the point like where you're in the helicopter and you're in the driver's seat or in the bird's seat. I was never in the military. I have the, the bubble at the bottom of the helicopters, the planes, whatever. But honorable mentions too. Okay. But it's it's that ability while while the rest of the world is is like like in the midst of everything that's going on with love and everything and and worrying about who said what and playing this way to that way. You're up above this, just watching the wheels go round and round, you know, and just manifesting from it. It's like having a way to trace to trace the incoming signals directly to the source that others don't even know you've got the ability to do. It's amazing. And then having that information, Knight of Swords style, but being wise in your masculine and feminine energies and being like, I'll do with this the proper ways and what to do with it. You just observe, deduce, and analyze. You are so smart. Beautiful. My goodness. Strong Aquarius energy. You could be born on the 20th, the 27th, or the 3rd I'm seeing as well. Could be a life path number 3, a 6, or a 9. I mean, there's a couple 9s already, number 9. But anyways, let's go. What's on their side of the fence here? Let's go with the Knight of Swords, three pentacles on the Ten of Pentacles. Look who's back. The Wheel of Fortune to the Emperor. Three cups, ten wands, page swords, page wands. And the hanged man's at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. Could have some strong Pisces placements in your chart. But this is like when, when everything else is rolling here and writing it out. So they've got, they've, whoa. Oh, I just felt it in my heart chakra. They have had a major loss in their life that they've, that, mm, condolences, Taurus, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy too. The Ten of Wands to the Page of Swords. Um, will you still love me tomorrow? Amy Winehouse shows up. So they have been through a lot in here, but they're not listening. They have someone that guides them and directs them, like how it's putting it down here. And with the Page of Wands, it's just the part in the USA, buying yourself flowers, Sagittarius energy on this one here. Their connection might be a little outdated, and they've got they've got a guide that is trying to help them, like Prince, the Emperor, partying like it's 1999. And on the Wheel of Fortune, this is both Prince and David Bowie, okay? I'm not saying anymore. I can say no more. But, and and like, so their they're guide's trying to guide them, and like some little outdated, watch, and, but it's like their karmic debt is only payable um, via digital payment, okay? Like, like, don't even know how to write a checkout or something, and the card reader keeps jamming, or losing signal, or losing connection with the hanged man, Pisces energy, and it's like, well, I don't have cash on me. That sort of a thing. I don't have karmic cash on me right now. What are we going to do? It's that energy, like, 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 think about it this way. Everybody's got a new idea. It's like, it's like Coke classic versus new Coke, right? Now, now, if you weren't around or read a history book on that one, it was supposed to be a great, great thing. And if you're, if you're like younger, why haven't you heard of new Coke? Why is Coca-Cola classic? The one that's still around. I can say no more. High priestess energy. Okay. That's between you and me, Scorpio. Got you. All right, so that Wheel of Fortune shows a turning in, in, in an energy that you know what's coming, Ten of Wands, okay? All right, so thank you, by the way. Thank you. Don't forget to say thank you. All right, it's like, so, so, like, their guide keeps telling them, God, their guide, their guardian angel, their spirit guide, and that keeps trying to tell them the way to go, but can't make them drink from the Three of Cups of Happiness, Right? That Ten of Wands is overcoming those burdens. Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius be the first ones that when you're going through that drawer looking for that phone charger and can't find that phone charger, they'd be like, just stop and get another charger on the way to work. You'll be fine if we find the other one later. The other one probably had a broken end on it. Anyways, but then you find it and you got the extra one there. So that ability to overcome those feeling of burnouts. And if you can't get to the Law of Three with the Three of Cups, all right, it's like if you can't get them there, if you didn't, then, you know, like John Lennon said, they're happy going in their circles and they keep yelling on it, but they keep trying to work through it. They've been through so much in their life that they felt that they, that this was the direction on it, but, but they're awakening. They're awakening to it. Page of swords because they're snooping. They're checking you out. They're even learning some stuff from you, which I see is a more powerful energy in that. Okay. That, that it's that ability that a message comes in and both the air and the fire energy. It's a message of passion. It might be a real simple thing like a, Hey, or a text, or an, I'm sorry. Or, ooh, okay, it's okay. They're not going to say, I'm sorry, but that's cool. They're going to say, hey, and you got to kind of be like, 
okay fine that counts okay and i do know that like maybe they're the kind of person that's like if you're asking them like well do you love me do you still love me will you still love me tomorrow they're like you know i love you i brought you home a rose or gum from the gas station i mean come on i'm here right but it's that ability to rise through it because their guides are helping to get them onto that path and the no coat classic always never goes out of style you never go out of style taylor swift right there okay that james dean look in your eyes anyhow thank you i totally dig music don't you start vibrating your a string over there what you doing he's fine he's cool he's cool he gemini he's all right <laughs> all right Anyhow, give me something on this Nine of Pentacles to the Tower card to the Page of Wands, okay? Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, and Scorpio. The Tower. This came out for Libra, too. The Lovers is back. I, st I still don't have a Sharpie marker to make sure that thing is safe for YouTube. Then John and Yoko did live on the edge. Oh, my goodness. I cannot. The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and the outcome is the Sun and the Moon. The eclipse energy literally just picked it out right here. That this is something happening and working out for you. It's Harry Styles and Nina Simone showing up with a pink feather boa. That's adorable. That's the first time I've seen that on a sun card. Harry Styles and that field of sunflowers. Sunflowers might even resonate to you possibly. And Nina Simone, she's epic in the stuff that can create. The way she had this beautiful jazz connection that just her vocals are just amazing energy. This gives you guys the ability to connect to those powers and to manifest from a higher place. There's the Taurus energy with the Hierophant. This is the ability to overcome the downsizing of the unneeded energies, right? With temperance. I'm still keeping my hand on that lover's card until I know if that's safe for YouTube. Hold on. <laughs> I don't have a brown paper bag on me. Every time a bag is them though. But check that out. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. They do know how to make an entrance. You or them could have some Sag placements within your chart, maybe even further out. Or really interesting, if you're into conception charts or your birth chart, that it was retrograde at the time, wherever your Sagittarius placement was. But that is that ability to manifest, even if it's from a position of lack. You can't do what Sagittarius does. They have some interesting abilities with that Hierophant coupled up to it. Sag Taurus energy comes out on top showing up here. That is the ability to, to create. And if you think about it, temp this temperance, hold on, let me turn around. This temperance is Chris Martin, right? Now, now that's Coldplay. And they had a very vast catalog. I love some of Coldplay's music, right? I've got a very vast, my playlists are, are epic. You'd it'd blow your mind on a road trip with me. You'd be like, really? But it's cool stuff. And some of my stuff I actually even have re-recorded and tracked backwards just, just because. Why not? All right? But with the Hierophant, that's that extra knowledge. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the Beatles song because that Yoko was playing. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. That Yoko was playing um, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. And John was like, could you play that backwards? And he wrote because about it. And it's it's amazing energy. And with Tupac showing up, that's that ability to manifest from a new energy, the artificial intelligence that's coming in, and to create something that goes the distance together. That's like, it, it filters out the unneeded energy. Page of Pentacles keeps it grounded, keeps everything rolling forward like a boss, you know, and brings together everything with the sun and the moon. It's an eclipse. That's when the sun and the moon jockey for space. And the sun's like, hey, you stop blocking my light. You stop staring at my dark side. But then in the end, it's like, oh, it's okay. Especially with this one in Libra, because that's when everything lines up. All right. Whew. Scorpio, this was a fun talk. I really appreciate the time. Claim this one down in the comments, because you were doing some heavy manifesting. Strong Sagittarius. Cancer energy is here. Taurus is here. A lot of, a lot of air. Um, Aquarius, Gemini. Also Leo. Definitely Leo. <laughs> but yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates down below. I do appreciate you for being here, taking time out of your day, your week, your life, your love, and your energy to let me read for you. Truly appreciate it. Truly grateful. Definitely. Um, and remember, I am FHA certified, ironclad. I will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you have to do is ask. All right. And Spirit, God, thank you very much today for the messages for Scorpio, of course. We are always truly grateful to you and appreciate you. Definitely. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check the comments down below for more info on the meet and greet and everything else on the channel. And until next time, Scorpio, I'll see you then. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. I love you.